If you have compatible devices in your home, Chrome makes it super easy to cast any Chrome tab to a different screen, like a Chromecast-enabled TV or smart display. And if you have Roku devices, it lets you easily cast video content from your Chrome tab from streaming services like Netflix, YouTube, and many others as well. To do this, click the three-dot menu icon in the upper right and select Cast. You'll now see the devices on your network. Select the one you want to cast to, and it will automatically cast to it. If casting video to a speaker with no display, it will just play the audio. One of the newer features of Chrome is tab groups. This is handy to organize your tabs into a collection when you need to open a group of tabs for a specific task. To create a new tab group, right click on any open tab and select add tab to new group. Give it a name. I'll call this one PC parts. And if you want, you can give the tab group a color. Let's go with purple. Now just right click on the other tabs that you want to add to this group you created, go to add tab to group and select it. At this time, Chrome will not automatically save your tab groups. To have the option to save your groups, you'll have to enable an experimental feature. In the search bar, type Chrome colon slash slash flags. Hit enter. In the search box, type groups. To the right of tab group save, click the drop down and select enabled. In the lower right, click relaunch. Now when you right click on the tab group name, click the toggle to save the group. In the future, to open that tab group you created, you'll see it listed here on the left side of the bookmarks bar. Just left click on it to open the group. If you're ever on a website and you don't know the meaning of a particular word, or just want to do a quick search in Chrome for that word, Highlight the text, right click on it, and select Search Google For, followed by the text you selected. It'll open a new tab, usually with the definition of the word at the top, along with other results for that search. This next one is great for those of you that are hearing impaired. While many websites have closed captions built in, there are some that do not. The Live Captions feature creates captions for any audio or video playing in your browser. To activate it, Click the menu icon in the upper right and select Settings. In the left pane, go to Accessibility. At this time, this feature is only available for English. Click the toggle to enable it. Once enabled, you will see captions for any audio or video playing in your browser. When you have someone that needs to use your computer, it would be best to put them into guest mode so they don't have access to your bookmarks and websites you visit, especially financial sites. To make the switch, select your account in the upper right, and under Other Profiles, select Guest. When they're done using your PC, click on Guest in the upper right, and select Close Guest. If you're the type of person that keeps dozens of tabs open at the same time, using Tab Search can help you to quickly find the tab that you're looking for. To use Tab Search, click the down arrow in the upper right to the left of Minimize. You can now see all your open tabs in a list. If you still don't see your tab, type a keyword into the box and it should appear. If you want to quickly play a video or audio file on your computer without opening a media player, just drag and drop that file into your browser. Many people are not aware that just like their operating system, Chrome includes its own built-in task manager. This is useful to identify and diagnose any issues your browser is having. To open Chrome's Task Manager, click the menu icon in the upper right, go to More Tools, and select Task Manager. Another way of opening it is to press the Shift and Escape keys on your keyboard. Here you can see how much memory, CPU, and internet bandwidth websites and other background processes are using. I would not advise closing any background processes, but if you feel a particular website is causing a problem, select it, and click on End Process to see if that fixes the issue. When you open a new tab in Chrome, there's a search bar, shows you the websites you visit most often, along with shortcuts to other Google services, including Gmail, Images, and many others. If you want to change the look of this page to make it more appealing to you, in the lower right, click on the Customize icon. There's a decent amount of backgrounds to choose from, Selecting any category lets you choose an image individually or to have a new background each day, enable Refresh Daily. 
You can choose whether shortcuts are curated by you, chosen for you, or you can hide them all together. And they let you choose a new color and theme for the new tab page. When you're done making your changes, click on Done. Unbeknownst to most people, including myself until recently, Chrome also includes a built-in malware scanner that can check your computer for viruses and other malware. Try this if your browser speeds are slow or you're noticing anything suspicious. To use it, click the menu icon and select Settings. In the left pane, select Reset and Cleanup. Then, Clean Up Computer. I won't do this now, but clicking Find will search your computer looking for and removing any malware. Here's a bonus tip. For years, Chrome has been working on a screenshot tool, but unlike many of its competitors, they have yet to officially release it. Right now, it's still an experimental feature. If you'd like to try it out, type in the address box, Chrome, colon, slash, slash, flags, and hit enter. In the search box, type screenshot, Enable both listed desktop screenshots and desktop screenshots edit mode. After doing so, in the lower right, click relaunch. On any website to take a screenshot, go to the right side of the address bar, click on the share button and select screenshot. The only choice for the type of screenshot is to left click, drag the area you'd like to capture and let go. You'll get a pop-up that used to have the option to edit, but that is missing now. All you can do is download it to your computer, then afterwards edit it in your favorite photo editing program. Thanks for watching. If you found that this video is useful for you, or you learned something new, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If there's an awesome feature that you use with Google Chrome, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.